Fire away. Uh, yeah, no, I, I felt like um, uh, we came out and, and, and we um, we fought and we competed. Um, give, I give a lot of credit to, uh, to to Coach Anderson and, and, and Arkansas from uh, the, the the standpoint of uh, their kids also fought and competed and, and and when they got down four, you know, I thought the crowd got involved and and they really dug their heels in and, and, and made it hard for us. And I thought that's where the game was lost. And the, and the game was won for them. It was that 52-48 uh, stretch there, I think it's right before the eight minute media maybe, somewhere in there. Uh, I thought they did a really good job of, of uh, coming at us. I, I felt like, um, you know, they attacked offensive glass. We got into a little foul trouble. And uh, they made they made key shots when they needed to, and um, you know that's a, he, he, you know Coach Anderson's got a young team, and you know they, they're being tested every every day uh, in practice because he's got depth. He's always got depth, and uh, you know a lot of these young guys are stepping up and making shots in, 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 in hard games. Uh, speaking of media timeouts, I think you called the one at like eight twenty and four twenty. Was that with the idea that there might be another one under? I mean, what's the what's the deal this year on that? I just I just didn't want to lose the lead. You know, we they were they were coming at us, and you know at that at that time, you, if if I would have got to the media, we might have been down twelve points. You know, I I, I tried to stop the hemorrhaging. You know, uh, when you're bleeding, you got to try to put a tourniquet on to stop the bleed. That's what I try. I wasn't worried about the the media time. I was worried about our team. You know, uh, not getting knocked out. Coach, in that run you're talking about, I guess it was 11 or no, um, each on every Simpson that hit a three and a drive pass. He ended up scoring 14 points all in the second half. What did you think of his play? Did, did he surprise you? Uh, no, yeah. I mean, he, he, he got his number called, and I, I felt like he was, uh, you know, that stretch, he was a difference maker, you know. And, and uh, you know, he only played 13 minutes, but he scored 14 and 13. Those are, those, that's a pretty good number. And uh, I thought he was the difference in that stretch in the game. He actually scored 14 and nine in the second half. I mean, yeah, no, he, he 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 was everywhere. He, he did a really good job for them, and, and uh, you know, um, we all know how good Gafford is. Watched him. Uh, I, I felt like um, you know we probably uh, underestimated you know what he what he was capable of, and, and you know we, he did some good things. Uh, and it, it was it was so it was so fast. And it's such Arkansas basketball is that. You know, uh, the history of Mike Anderson, wherever he's been, they can put points on you in a hurry. And it's, and, and, and watching film, you know, I, I coached against Coach Anderson when I was assistant at South Alabama, when I was at uh, Kansas State, and when I was at South Carolina. So I've had a taste of what their teams are about. And you can, you can switch people's names on the back, but all those guys look the, the same. And so when they come in those flurries of runs, it, it's different dudes, different nights. You also got an SEC background. Mike's got a young team. How do you? They're getting ready to go into SEC play. How do you think that team will do in the SEC? Well, I I think they'll be fine. They they they, um, they don't turn the ball over. Um, you know, give them credit. They they and, and 11, 11 turnovers maybe for you guys may be high, but we're one of the nation's leaders in, in forcing turnovers, and they took care of the ball, and that and, and that's a credit to. To their point guard and, and to some of the stuff they do, they 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 are so good at moving the ball. Twenty one assists. Uh, they're so unselfish, and that's that's the one thing about his teams year in year out uh, that he don't get enough credit for is that how well they play offense. Uh, everybody thinks it's just you know kind of maybe roll the ball. I don't know what people think, but I know this: they move at a speed and a pace, and they share the ball. And 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 anytime you get a team that passes and cuts like they do. Uh, that's a credit to him, and they're, they're going to be fine. They're going to be fine. When you got a potential first-round draft pick in Daniel Gafford who can go out every night and get you double doubles, and then um, you know a kid like Joe who's come out of, I guess I, I I'm out of the high major recruiting, so I, I don't really know. Um, you know, I know he's a freshman, uh, but, but but kid's got an unbelievable jump shot. And you guys, I think, it cut it back to six or something. But um, Harris, who's obviously real good ball handler, but he was two of twenty-five on threes. He, he nailed that three that kind of maybe was the dagger. I mean, what did you think of that? Because the guys obviously struggled. Yeah, no, I, it um, uh, it, it, it kind of was a dagger. You know, he he has that's not what he does. He he I can't remember the kid that that you guys had here a couple years ago. Big time distributor, like like seven to one assist turnover. Yeah, yeah never shot. Never, but when he made one, it was like, 
All right. What do you do? And 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 that that's kind of like that's the role he's taking on. And I'd be really happy because I thought Cabral Durham was was a heck of a point guard here. Yeah, I was curious what you thought about Isaiah Joe. You mentioned you know, he's been struggling to the story a little bit. Uh, what did you think of him? I, 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 we let him, we gave him, we gave him too many open looks. Um, you know, we, we, we knew going in uh, that that he could shoot it now. Um, and and if, if he makes shots, they're, they're going to be right in the hunt of, of, of competing for for a upper tier berth. You know, and, and he needs to make shots, but. He's a freshman, and a freshman goes through some walls. And good kids that work hard, they go get the gym and they'll make shots. And you know, I that kid, I'm sure, you know, is a competitor, wants to win. Got the gym and and, and shot balls, come out and make shots. Is that it, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys.